Hello my fellow researchers, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to reverse the order of your ordinal scale categories. And I'll show you my, why you might want to do that. Suppose I have a survey and it's an agreement disagreement survey and I have a number of statements here. Statement 1, statement 2, statement 3. And it's a common survey design strategy to have the, your scales reversed. And the reason why you might want to do that is to then be able to identify those individuals that are simply just choosing the, the, the end point uh, of the scale without even reading the statements. So, so those people uh, will be able to be identified by having a, a reverse scale because you'll see that they chose, for example, strongly disagree, strongly agree, strongly disagree. Uh, for a series of statements that may be sort of um, uh, representing or measuring or operationalizing the same concept. So that's, that's a strategy. Now, now suppose you did do this, right? You had your scales reversed. And then you wanted to recode the data so that everything was in the same direction or all the scales were in the same order. So in this case, I have two variables, Likert 1 and Likert 2. And Likert 1 is from strongly disagree at, at 1 to strongly agree at, at 5. And Likert 2 is from strongly agree at 1 to strongly disagree at 5. And I want to make both of these, uh, I want to make Likert 2 be the same as Likert 1 in terms of the ordering of the, the categories and, and the scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on transform and I'm going to go to recode into different variables. And I'm going to throw Likert 2 in here because I want to I want to reverse the order of Likert 2. And I'm going to type in a new name for Likert 2. Likert 2 reversed. And I'm going to hit change. So that's going to be our new variable name, Likert 2 reversed. And I'm going to hit old and new values. And here is where I'm manually going to uh, recode each category in that variable. So category number one is going to now become number five. I'm going to hit add. Category number two is going to become category number four. Add. And three is going to stay three because it's in the middle. And so on and so forth. Until we've done all five categories. Okay, so you can see here the, uh, the reverse procedure. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see here our syntax for the operation we just performed. Let's check out our variables now. Here you can see we have a new variable, Likert 2 reversed. And so what that variable did, Likert 2 reversed, is it turned all the 5's into 1's, all the 4's into 2's. All the threes into threes are, are staying the same, and all the fours into twos, and so on and so forth. You can go down the list and see that it's it's accurate. So now I have uh, Likert two reversed in the same uh, scale order as Likert one, and that will allow me then to suppose I just wanted to add the values for each person. But my values column has not been filled out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply copy this cell and paste it into here. So now you can see uh, everything is exactly the same and I know that it's accurate because I, I reversed the, the numbers. And maybe you want to just get rid of that variable and then rename this one to Likert2. And so now we have them in the same ordinal order. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for my next video. Cheers.